So in this video right here, I'm gonna show you guys how to get your iPhone from looking boring like this to looking fly like this. All right, so first thing I need you guys to do in order to get this whole look set up, because you guys have been asking me in countless amounts of videos, yo, CK, how did you get your home screen to look like that? Well, I'm going to show y'all right now. All right, so the first thing I need you guys to do is remove all of the applications from your home screen. Now, I'm not saying delete them. I'm just saying I need you guys to remove them and add them to like your app library, right? All right, so in order to do this, the first thing I need you guys to do is just press and hold on one application until we get it to like its wiggle state. Now, the next thing we wanna do is just tap on this little negative icon and then we wanna tap on remove from home screen. Do not delete the application. So just tap on that and then we're just gonna do the exact same thing for every single one on this screen. All right, so now that we pretty much got all of the applications taken off of our screen, we got them still saved on our phone, but they're in the app library. We wanna go ahead and go to our app store and we're gonna search for an app called Brass. Now you definitely wanna download this and it's completely free, so you won't have to pay anything like that because this is gonna be the application that's gonna give you guys all of the icons that you're gonna need for this setup, as well as the widgets as well. So the next thing we wanna do is go ahead and open up this uh, application and then instantly right off the back y'all you're gonna see all of the different like icon packs that you can install we got some minimalist ones which i think is dope and i will be doing a setup on that uh we got some neon ones anime if you into that but the one that we're gonna go with is uh this one right here now again you can choose any one of these that you guys want to but for the sake of this video we're gonna go ahead and select this one and again this whole setup will work for any of these icon packs now the next thing we want to do is is tap on that and we're gonna go ahead and tap on setup theme. Now this is going to take us to the next screen where it's gonna show you guys all of the icons that pair with the apps that you guys already have installed on your phone. So you can just kind of scroll through here and you can install ones that you guys want. You can remove the ones that you guys don't want. So for example, let's say if I didn't want like Netflix, I don't have to actually have Netflix if I don't want to. Um, and you can just kind of customize this as you see fit. Now, the next thing we wanna do is you kind of wanna scroll through uh, because there are a lot of the other ones here at the bottom that they do actually have um, icons for, but they just don't have them selected. And you can go through and add these onto. So if I want an Airbnb, uh, if I want a Skype for business call, Phillips Hue, different things like that, you can just kind of scroll through and see the ones that you guys like. But they also have some just kind of default ones. If you guys want to add those too, you can also assign it to certain ones. So let's say, for example, I wanted this plane right here and I wanted to assign it to uh, like my Southwest app, right? So let's just go to Southwest. And if I tap on Southwest, now it's gonna sign this airplane to this Southwest application. So now that we have all the ones that we want, we wanna go ahead and press on install 48 icons. Now it's gonna take us to this setup screen. Now you don't have to really read any of this because I'm gonna be breaking all this down in this video. Now, the first thing we wanna do is tap on download profile. This is going to allow us to be able to get all the app icons downloaded onto our device as well as the widgets. Now we wanna tap on allow and then now we've downloaded the profile now the next thing we want to do is close out of the app uh, and we want to go to settings and then once we're in settings we want to go to general and then we're going to scroll down to vpn and device management now once we in here you're going to see a brand new downloaded profile that is sitting right here we want to go ahead and tap on that and if we go to more details you can see all of the app icons that we have uh downloaded to the device that we need to install so in the top right corner we're just going to tap on install and then you're going to enter in your passcode and then just like that tap on install and it's going to install all of those app icons as well as the widgets onto your device and we're going to get ready to access them later so we're going to tap on done and then once we tap on done swipe up and go to your home screen and now you're going to see all of these just icon packs that's now been added to your screen but still they don't look like how we want to actually have it set up so in order to get it set up how we want to let's just go ahead and do 12 icons because that's what we're going to need right actually let's just just kind of move this down to the bottom just so you guys can get an idea of what we're getting ready to do right all right so and we just move one of these off to the side of the screen to another screen all right so now that we pretty much have this set up right here we want to go ahead and add our widgets onto this one so in order to do that you just want to go ahead and press and hold um, and we're going to tap on the plus icon and we're going to scroll all the way down here to the widgets and we're going to tap on brass now here we want to add two different ones we want to add this smaller one and we kind of want to add this rectangle one now we're going to add this widget right here tap on the plus icon again scroll down to brass and then we're going to add this middle one right here 
and then we're just gonna kind of move this down right here to kind of get the shape that we want to get on the screen and the layout now once we have that I want to go ahead and press done now I want to show you guys what widgets and uh, where they're actually located within the brass application so let's go ahead and go back to the brass application and we're gonna tap on done now there's another thing we want to do while we are in here we want to go ahead and install some of these icons manually because they did not actually get paired to the device and find the app so there's some like phone camera facetime clock and just a couple different ones that you can add so we want to go ahead and just download these and it's basically all it does is if we go to photos it just downloads these icon packs right here into your photo library and I'm gonna show you guys how to access that in a little bit so first thing we want to do is go back here to um, the brass application go ahead and press done to go all the way back to this screen uh, once we're back to the theme screen we want to go ahead and go to widgets and then here you're gonna see the widgets on your home screen right here so if we go to the home screen tab we can see we have widget 18 which is uh, the Nike Jordan ones we also have a Nike drip uh, neon sign as well as a Jordan 1 neon sign right here so the ones we want to add is widget 16 as well as widget 17 but you can also change it out if you want to add widget 18 that's up to you as well but we want to do widget 16 and 17 so next thing we want to do is go back to our home screen we're going to long press on the widget that we added we're going to tap on edit widget and then here we want to go ahead and press choose and then we want to add the first one that we have right here tap on the outside of that and now it's going to add the shoe right there onto our screen and then the next thing we want to do is long press on this one go to edit widget do the exact same thing but here we want to add widget 17 tap on it and then boom now that we have it actually added now before we actually change the background and i show you guys that i want to show you guys how to add like phone and different things like that because again some of those do not actually carry over um, as far as the application so you will have to add it manually so in order to do that we want to go ahead and type in shortcuts go to your shortcuts application and then for you guys it's going to look like this right here so we want to go ahead and press the plus icon and then from here we want to go ahead and tap on open app and then here we're going to tap on app and then we're going to scroll down to where we see phone in our app list tap on phone and then just like that we have phone added now at the bottom you're going to see this circle with an eye in it looks like the information tap on that and then we're going to tap on add to home screen and then here we want to change the name of what we want to actually show up on our home screen so for us we want this to be phone and then once we actually have that we want to go ahead and tap on the icon here and this is going to allow us to be able to either take a photo or choose the icon so since we already have our phone icon we just want to go ahead and tap on choose photo and then we want to tap on the phone icon right here now you do have the ability to zoom this in or you can zoom it out but for us it's already sized so we just go ahead and press choose and then now press add and then boom just like that you will see phone now add it to your screen and it's going to match with all of the other different icons that we have the last thing that we need to do in order to get the look how we want it we want to change this background right so what we want to do is we want to go ahead and go to our lock screen right so we're going to go ahead and press and hold on this and let's say we want to choose uh i don't know let's choose like let's choose this one right here right all right so we want to choose this background right here but we want to go ahead and do customize now we want to do customize here and we're just going to press done and now it's going to ask us here at the bottom do we want to actually set that same wallpaper um, for our home screen but that's not what we want to do we want to go ahead and do customize home screen and now instead of choosing original you do get the options here at the bottom we want to go ahead and select on color and then we're just going to tap on color again and we want to go and tap on the black color and then we just drag this bar all the way to the far right for the deepest black that we can get and then we just tap on the x icon press done tap on the lock screen and now this lock screen as well as the black background is now tied to this specific lock screen so all we have to do is just swipe up from the bottom and now you're going to see an all blacked out screen looking super super legit and fire y'all but yeah y'all that's pretty much it that's how you guys add uh different widgets and different uh app icons for you guys to be able to change it out i highly recommend you guys check out that brass application it's super fire they got some dope stuff in there now i am going to do another video where i am going to show you guys how i got all of these different just dope looking uh backgrounds here that you can get for your lock screen so 
definitely be on the lookout for that if you guys want to see that then all you guys have to do is give this video a thumbs up as well as click on that subscribe button down below for more iphone setup tips and tricks but like always y'all make your move and always remember your why and i'll see y'all in the next one squad <laughs>